Hey guys, and welcome to a new series I will be trying to start up on the channel known as The Oddities. Similar to the iceberg videos I have done on this channel before, The Oddities series will focus on a single topic each video, discussing strange and odd entries related to that topic. The first topic in this series being of course McDonald's, which you've probably noticed by the title. However, unlike the iceberg videos, there is no specific order for the entries and things I discuss. The entries don't get more obscure or creepier as they go on. The entries will as well be much more in depth, talking about everything in as much detail as possible. The things I discuss in the Oddity series don't even need to be creepy or scary or anything like that, just odd strange things about that certain topic. In this series I'll be looking through around 5-6 to six entries for each video and topic. However, for this first one, I will only be looking at like two entries just to see if the editing style works and see if you guys like the new series and whatnot. Just chill for the first one. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy and let's not waste any more time and get right into the video. This next entry and topic seems to be a McDonald's product which has been lost to time entirely. There is no packaging, advertisements, photographs, or film of this product to exist despite many people remembering this certain product at McDonald's. Now, this lost product which I'm actually talking about goes by the shrimp McBites. August 20th, 2021. A Reddit user who goes by Street Lander had posted onto the Lost Media subreddit with the intention of trying to find the existence of an obscure McDonald's product which go by Shrimp McBites. Street Lander claims to remember ordering them at the same time the Fish McBites were available, which are heavily documented online. However, the Shrimp McBites seemingly has no evidence of them ever existing online. A picture was included in the post, which was a mock-up of what OP remembers them looking like and what the Shrimp McBites would have looked like. After making this post, Streelander would go on to add additional information in the comments, explaining they attempted to order this product once, they were unable to and instead had them substituted for Fish McBites. The distinct interaction with McDonald's is the reason for why they could be mistaking this for a foreign release or another product. They saw the advertisement for it outside the McDonald's, attempted to order it, and failed. Streelander also noted that this was in 2013 and that even their immediate family remembers the Shrimp McBites product. Many users had responded to this post with claims that the Shrimp McBites are not lost, saying McDonald's had produced or still produced this product in other foreign markets. Some users had even posted links to images in their comments to what they believed OP was talking about. However, OP dismissed these images as not the product they remember. The products a lot of the comments had referred to were whole shrimps. OP remembers them being in the McBite shape and were small shrimp pieces fried into little balls. They were as well marketed specifically as shrimp McBites, not just plain shrimps. Moreover, Streetlander states that these shrimp McBites are a product from the United States, and shrimp has apparently never been sold at McDonald's in the US. Some people had questioned if Streetlander was just simply misremembering this for another shrimp product McDonald's had sold. However, some evidence that Streelander's memory was correct had shown up. In one of the comments to this post, a user who goes by Moss Covered Rocks had discovered that if you search Shrimp McBites on Twitter, you can see people talking about them in 2013, which was the same year OP had apparently seen the product. They couldn't find anything else, but this is very strong evidence for this mysterious McDonald's product to have actually existed and been real. A few days later, 
a user on Reddit named Brandon2000 had contacted McDonald's after the Reddit post discussing the Shrimp McBites had gained some popularity. McDonald's had responded, and had confirmed they were indeed real and had actually existed before. This is what the response had to say. Hello Brandon, thank you for taking the time to contact McDonald's about our Shrimp McBites. Shrimp McBites were breaded whole shrimp with a crispy outer coating and a mild salt and pepper flavor. Served with a cocktail sauce in a container designed for easily handling on the go. They were available in three sizes. Snack 10 pieces, regular 15 pieces, or shareable 30 pieces. At these three store locations. I hope this information is helpful. Again, thank you for contacting McDonald's about our Shrimp McBites. We hope to have the opportunity of serving you again soon under the Golden Arches. So there you have it. The Shrimp McBites had been available for a small 35 days, and at only three different locations in one general area. This general area is right near a McDonald's headquarters, which has led many to suspect that the Shrimp McBites were most likely a very narrow test market product. The reason for its obscurity and why there's pretty much nothing at all online regarding it. Around four months ago, Streetlander had made another post on the Lost Media subreddit, giving all the information we know about the lost McDonald's shrimp McBites. To this very day, the search for any type of advertising, packaging, or photographs of the product continues. The Shrimp McBites are possibly one of the rarest products ever served at McDonald's, but also, hear me out. The only reason I'm actually talking about the Shrimp McBites right now is because of a post on Reddit. If this post wasn't made, it's most likely the Shrimp McBites would have been forgotten about and fallen through the cracks of time. I just wonder if there's any other McDonald's products out there similar to this one which have just been wiped from existence, only left as a memory to some. But at the moment, as far as we know, these Shrimp McBites are possibly the rarest product served at McDonald's. From 2003 to 2005, McDonald's would air a whole heap of different low-budget commercials which were shown exclusively to Pakistan. These commercials were produced to advertise the new Happy Meal toys at the time for Sonic Heroes, Crash Twin Sanity, Strawberry Shortcake, Hello Kitty, and Play-Doh, I believe. There was also a commercial that was made just for McDonald's, showcasing all of the main McDonald's characters. I'll showcase one of these commercials now. Now, I'm sure a good amount of you watching this video have some sort of familiarity with these advertisements. They have become quite famous online, achieving meme status due to just how hilariously bad and also plain terrifying the commercials are. The character designs are just nightmarish and strange. The CGI animation looks to be rushed and lazily done as most of the characters in these advertisements look nothing alike to what they usually do in their actual franchises. Rouge in the Sonic commercial looks to be a rat, not a bat, and looks nothing alike, I don't know what happened there. Neo Cortex in the Crash Bandicoot commercial has a realistic, human-type face with tan-coloured skin, instead of looking yellow and, you know, cartoony and goofy. The McDonald's characters are pretty questionable, and the strawberry shortcake designs are spooky to say the least. 
The poorly animated commercials have been discussed and critiqued by many online sources, from YouTubers to different articles. They are definitely an odd, peculiar part of McDonald's history. It would be wrong not to include them in this video dedicated to McDonald's oddities. The popularity and non-nature of these ads have raised a handful of different questions which to this day are still unanswered. The main question and mystery being, who was behind the creation of these commercials? The creators of these McDonald's ads have been completely unknown. It's a mystery as to who had actually produced these designs and animations. It's really not that much of an interesting mystery, but it did get me thinking. What animation company did McDonald's go to for two years worth of these commercials? McDonald's Pakistan probably approached some company who had experience and history with animation. I wonder if this company had any other animations created which McDonald's saw, and that were available to the public and just hasn't resurfaced since. The commercials were produced and shared on television in the early 2000s. At this time, there really wasn't much of an online presence for smaller local companies. It would probably be incredibly hard to track down and find this company online. A user on YouTube who goes by Hyder had uploaded 8 of these Pakistan McDonald's commercials onto their channel May 13th, 2009. These videos uploaded are the first time the ads had appeared and were shown on the internet, I believe. After looking through doing a bit of research, I think this is the, I guess, first documentation of the commercials online. They weren't mentioned anywhere on the internet up until these uploads. It appears these uploads of the commercials went quite unknown for a while, as the next time one of these commercials was mentioned on the internet again had been another YouTube upload of the Sonic McDonald's ad. The title of this video was Hilariously Bad Pakistan Sonic Heroes Happy Meal Commercial 2004 and uploaded almost two years after Haider's original upload. After this upload, the Pakistan commercials had started gaining some traction and receiving popularity online. Perhaps this hider uses someone who had worked at the company and created these McDonald's animations. They had all of these commercials archived and was the first person to upload them. But who knows? I think we all need to remember that Pakistan was still growing its economy and incorporating computer-aided professions into their workforce at this time. The animations were presumably done by just a handful of people. There was most likely no help or support from McDonald's and dealt with underpowered and outdated render servers. Despite the bad and laughable quality these commercials have, they really do have some sort of odd and captivating charm to them, it's hard to explain. I still have memories of me being much younger and seeing these commercials on YouTube and watching reactions to them and stuff from Chadtronic and finding them strangely appealing. To this day, I still come back and watch these advertisements every once in a good while and have a laugh. I've seen some bad commercials, but these McDonald's ads have a really lasting influence on people. Very few commercials are able to achieve. Yeah, despite what everything is said online, I hope whoever created these commercials are proud of what they created all those years ago.